up YouTubers, uh, Baker here back with a fireworks video. Um, this is going to be my canister shell slash mortar shell uh, collection I have going on. Uh, before I start this, I uh, just wanted to um, make clear to some of you guys. I know some of you guys uh, didn't like like uh, what I put in some of my 200 gram collection. I put it on here. Um, I do apologize to some of you guys. But, uh, you know, something, um, it's just a collection, so, you know, some of the stuff I might have said, you know, might have made you guys a little upset, I do apologize, but I have to let you guys know that Baker, there's, nothing's going to happen to me, um, I got my ETF license, um, I work for two firework companies, okay, I'm going to make that loud and clear, two firework companies here in the state of Ohio, I work for, I do professional shows with, I've probably done, uh, let's see, uh, probably I've done over 11, 12 shows this year already with both the companies, so you know, I got a lot of experience with the 1.3 B-Line product, so you know, the Class C is just a phase to me anymore, but I still love Class C, there's so much uh, good stuff out there, I just wanted to make that clear to some of you guys, I know some of you guys is, um, wanted to actually see it which I do appreciate the comments and stuff but um, some of you guys uh, comment on it I was agreeing with a couple other people which you know that kind of stuff keep to keep to yourself the agreeing with people because that really irritates me and that's why I um, had to delete some of your guys' comments so keep that stuff kind of yourself because uh, I don't want to happen to end up blocking you or anything like that so just keep the keep the bad comments to yourself. I like to have the good ones on my channel. So, but no for me, Gibber guy. I just want to make that clear with you guys. But um, let's start with my collection. This is uh, I got this from Phantom Fireworks. Well, I didn't get them from Phantom. Um, I got these from a relative. I did a show like two months ago, a backyard show for a family member, and this was like donated into the fireworks and. Uh, I end up not using them, so and I just kind of, um, I might not even, these might not be in my collection, I don't know, I might keep them in there, just because they're uh, doing it to a family f um, friend of mine, so, but yeah, these are Copperhead Mini Shell Kit, Artillery Shells, um, you get six, or six different effects, and here's uh, all the effects. Red wave, number one, green wave, purple, green, peony, yellow, blue, peony, yellow wave, silver, glaring with stars. Here's some of the effects. You guys can see it. Sorry for the lighting. Um, I'm up here in my room, like I said, in some of my older videos. It's really hot up here. And there's only like one light up here, so. Yeah, you guys have to bear with me. So, get that out of the way. Um, boom. Boom in box, I got from a buddy of mine. I never tried these out. He said these were pretty good, so all I'm going to say is these make a loud bang. I'm not going to give you any kind of details in them, but you get six and a little uh, mortar kit with it. They're reloadable, which is pretty cool. You can see six aerial reports. Uh, yeah, these are, they're really tiny. They're called boombox. Pretty sweet. Get them out of the way. Uh, uh, let's see what other what other things I got. Um, you guys seen these in my other videos? Uh, strobing stars. These are actually. Uh, I tried some of these out um, after the fourth. I did my show. These I got from Prism. They're, they're something new. They uh, did this year, but here's the performance. You guys seen uh, these in my, uh, my old, uh, from, well, not old, but from my stash from this previous year. But uh, I was hoping to do a demo of them, but they're little uh, comments, to uh, comments, which are pretty sweet. I don't know, something new uh, they're doing. But here's some, you know, what they look like, which is pretty cool. Not bad. You can go. You can go to their website, check it out. Safety for the fireworks, Hammondsville, Ohio. 
Here's some other ones. But yeah, you get six of them. They're pretty good. Hopefully, um, I get another box of them. These are in my collection. Hopefully, I'll do a video of them sometime in the future. So, you know, I have to got, you guys have to bear with me. Um, these ones I got off a friend of mine. These are the Hong Kong Harry brand or whatever you want to call it. Hong Kong Harry's. These are one point uh, one and a quarter artillery shells. And this, and this is not actually what they do. This is just a box, but I'm just going to tell you guys they make a loud bang. You guys would kind of be like, huh? You know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not. Go I'm not going to say. So some of you guys start bitching. Oh, you said this. You said that. So just tell you they make a loud bang. There's uh, 12. Well, there's actually there's 12 in a in the box. So you know, you guys get something like this, and they're not actually. They do none of that. Keep it to yourself. So you know. These ones over here, um, they're sort of like them, but these are one and a 1.75 inch. There you get a tube in it. This is just a box, but um, this is a, one of the brands. They're old, like an older brand, Dragon. But, um, but yeah, you get six pieces. And this is uh, the side of it. This is what not... But they don't do like I said to that one over there. Just going to tell you guys, I make a one hell of a bang. These are pretty good ones. Get that out of the way. Um, come over here. Uh, these are canister shells. I got these two years ago when they were new from Kellner's. These are them bomb plastic canister shell assortments. Get different, uh, different, different. Um, Effects in the shells, which is pretty good, you know, assorted. But uh, there are some of them on here. This is style B. They have like style A, style uh, C, style D. I've seen some. Uh, I think there's like style E or something like that. I can't remember, but they have different styles on. But these were actually um, pretty popular the first year they came out. They were really good. So these are two years old. Um, never been opened out of the pack. You can see, um, you know, everything's still there, tube and everything. So, it's just uh, something I put in my collection. Like I said, these are two years old. The ones they made this year uh, were still pretty good. So, so yeah, get that out of the way. Um, these ones I got off a, a friend of mine. Um, we call these uh, like just per, just for pro shelves, but we don't. Um, other people call them different names, but uh, these these are here. They're I mean they're brown labeled. Uh, you know it says top and the bottom, but you know other than that, you know all the other stuff. Unless you're using launch tube, blah blah blah. But there's 12 in a pack here. That's in a box like this. These are supposedly way better than Excaliburs, so I don't want to hear what you guys have to say about Excaliburs because uh, Baker here has probably one of the baddest shells on the market. I wouldn't really say these are on the market; they're off the market, but they're better. They're way better than Excaliburs. I know that, and they're really heavy too. I probably would say these are probably 80 grams. Probably fill with. They're really heavy. They're packed good. So they got some weight to them. So anyway, right now, I don't want to hear nobody's bitching. These are better than Excaliburs. Um, we just call them just for pro shells, but we, we, other, well, I have another name, but I'm not gonna say. So, but we call them something other than just for pro shells. But let's just to say that they're better than Excaliburs. Better than do do blah blah shells from Black Cats. They beat down to you. So I want to hear nobody's. Kabuli crap. Now these are Excalibur I saved out of a kit of mine. You can tell world class. You know, Excal's all their designs and stuff from world class and shit, so but yeah, yeah, I got the got a pack of them, six. Got saved in a pack. Came in the box and it's all, you know, still there. I just kept in the box, but yeah. 
These are uh, Excaliburs. One of the, you know, like I said, one of the best shells out there. But them right there are way better. I, I know. So, but yeah, Excaliburs. You guys know what them are. Uh, gotta speed it up a little bit. Um, these uh, I got from a friend of mine. These are the only ones I have left. I got maybe a couple left in my closet, leftover stuff like these and that and that. And some other things over there I got, they're separated. Just like a couple of them I have out of the packs. I draw from other packs, so. But these are um, Exterminator by Mega Banger. These are, uh, these are one badass show, so I really like them. Hopefully they stay on the market for the next 10 years because these are probably another one another popular shell out there for canisters So yeah, but these are uh, Exterminator by Mega Banger Canister shells pretty badass. There's a uh, six six in the pack here So yeah, that's that um, These ones I showed you guys before these are um, super Magnum shells. These are the older versions. Are like a canister shell looking. Uh, these ones are pretty pretty bad too. Um, I know they have a, another name, Super Magnum shells, but they're like a ball shell looking. They they suck. These ones are way better. Tell me if you guys have these uh, older versions. You guys are, you know, you you got your money's worth out of you know what you got because then newer ones they suck try them suck that's just in my opinion some of you guys might like, uh, but you know but that's my opinion these are way better these are i believe like three years old so got off a good friend of mine so yeah these are super magnum you can tell you know different different effects sort of like what world class does i'm not sure uh what brand these are by um, I don't know if Super Magnum is a brand. I mean, I know it's the name, but maybe it's a brand too. But these, I think, are I'm not sure what brand they're by because I had the box, but I threw it away, and I just I had another box of these, and I blowed them up to try them out. But five, six, seven, eight. There's ten. So out of the kit I got, there's uh, twenty in the kit. So and I shot ten of them, and I got ten left. So. But yeah, maybe you guys like that. Um, these ones over here I got from this year from Kellner's uh, Open Shoot Night. Um, they didn't get any more in this year, but they they went pretty good. I heard they were really good at the demo, at the Open Shoot demo. People were letting them off and stuff. But these are them Black Knights. These were some good shells. I had uh, I bought a kit. Maybe I should have bought a couple kits. Maybe even a case. Because they went pretty fast. And then, uh, Kellner's, I guess they weren't getting any more in until next year or something. So, but these are the Black black Knight canister shells. There's, uh, there's, uh, 10 in the pack. And, um, out of the kit, there's 20. And I already shot another pack of them, which they were pretty, pretty loud. So, overloaded, but... You know, not too overly like salutes or anything like that, but they were they were loud. So we'll have to see about next year what what they're like. But that's the pack. It's never. Uh, oops, I think I ripped some of it. Damn it! But, but yeah, I mean it's never been opened. But other than me just putting a hole in it, damn it! But yeah, them are the black knights. Still got the original two. It says black knight on them. Looks pretty cool. You see like a little little. Uh, guy with green eyes and there's like supposedly like a, a tower some kind of building back here is the design which is pretty sweet but, uh, and this uh, buddy of mine he just posted uh this up on facebook he got and they're called like they have a different name of them they're called like flyers or something but i got these from a uh, company i'm one of the companies i work with these are AKA Jaron Dollars, but these are UFO UFO re reloadables. Yeah, there's a there's like a metal stick in the middle, and uh, there's you get three um, little um, swirling things that go in here. You can only use 
uh, one at a time, but it, when you light it, there's a fuse that like usually sticks out long enough you can light it, so you don't have to like burn in there. And you light it, and it like spins out, screaming, going up. You know what you guys know what a gerundola is. Some of you guys do, but they're fun to play around with. I just uh, see this pack, you know, this little kit, it's never been never been opened. They're fun to play around with. I like them. Sometimes I always hear they're hard, like, um, I don't know, like, this is by Legend Brand. But other brands out there, like, that actually it was, like, one of the first ones or something. They're hard to come by. But these are, nowadays, uh, they're hard to come by because the way they're making them over in China. And they're not making them right or something with how they uh, spin or something. They're, they're busting or something like that, so... Oh yeah, these are UFO reloadables. Pretty cool. Call them UFOs. See that UFO? It's pretty cool. And last but not least, I know you guys are like, oh, why are you showing this? Now, this box I want to show you right now. I don't want no bad comments in this, okay? Now, this, it had stuff on it. I ripped it off, okay? So, I don't want to hear nobody bad comments, okay? Let everybody know. I'm ATF, you know, I have my ATF license, okay, so, check out all the goodies, you guys are probably like, wow, where did you get these at, and you know, I got hiccups, and since I got my license, you know, they, every once in a while I like shooting them off, these are actually, um, sorry, I got the black match on them, if I can, I'll take one, take one out, it's hard to do with one hand, Get the rubber band off. But I'll show you guys. I don't know how many's left in this box. There's like 24, but I've probably done at least like 10 of them. So I'm guessing there's probably like 15 left, maybe. But these are already got the black match on it, and it's got at the end of it a little uh, visco. As soon as it hits this, it's fucking bam out of that tube fast. I mean fast. But these these are uh fun to have for a finale for a great finale for a loud bang. Yes, the, yes, these are one and seven five inch salutes, so uh, you guys are probably like, Wow, how do you get them? Blah blah blah. Well, I'm gonna keep that private but but like I said I, I got my ATF license and so but yeah. I'll show you guys that. I got um, a couple other things I maybe should have grabbed to show you guys, but maybe I'll show you that um, later down in my other videos I'll do probably for next year. It's just a surprise. Some of you guys seen it on my Facebook page. So, you know, but yeah, you know. You guys follow me on Facebook because uh, I post some pictures up of some of this stuff and, you know, that's like a sneak peek of it before I put the video up on here on YouTube. But I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't I don't want any bad comments on anything because there's not a whole lot of stuff here than what there was in my 200 gram collection. But this is my mortar mortar shell slash canister shell collection. Um, that over there, the UFOs, I maybe should have put in with maybe like 200 gram but it's still considered re reloadable so I'm putting in a category with the canisters and the mortar shells so but I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little video um, uh, just uh, clearly an update um, here next couple days um, I'm going to be making a trip up to Hubbard Ohio I'm going to do a little uh, walk through of WF Boom so you guys kind of stay tuned for that and got some uh, demos coming up here soon I got a show and uh, let's see what else um, forget what I was gonna say now just uh, lost my mind there for a second it'll come back eventually um, but I got a show coming up here soon I'm gonna probably be doing a video of that and uh, so you know all that other stuff so Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, I know this is like another uh, long ass video. Um, uh, you know, I want to say thanks for bearing with me. 
Hope you guys enjoyed my video and uh, be seeing you guys here pretty soon. Peace.